Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. In this video today, we are going to be doing a pink diamond pistol peak gameplay. And before we go any further, huge shout out to my book guy, Wade Kiss, for letting me hop on his account to do a pistol peak Berovich gameplay. And let me tell you, on the offensive end, he might be the second best point guard in the game. But on the defensive end, he definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. Pistol Pete, 6'5", 94, 3 ball, 48 driving dunk, 95 ball handle. Does come with a 75 perimeter defense, 88 speed, 89 speed ball, 88 acceleration with a 75 lateral quickness. So as you guys can see, with this perimeter defense and lateral quickness, not very good. 65 driving dunk tendency. I'll be intrigued with his low driving dunk to see how much he does dunk the ball, if at all. Seven dollar fame badges, catch and shoot, acrobat, flash passer, fancy footwork, slittery finisher, space crater, and slippery off ball. 21 gold badges, corner specialist, difficult shots, ankle breaker, bailout, handles for days, need a third, a quick first step. Tight handle stop and go. Dead eye range extender does come with the gold steady shooter, tireless shooter, floor general, and volume shooter. Three silver badges. Relance finisher, pickpocket, pickpocket, and contact finisher. The one thing about Pistol Pete is he cannot get the clamps badge, which no matter what other badges, what other five badges you apply to him, it's important to note you can't apply the clamps badge, which definitely hurts his value by quite a bit. If he could get clamps, in my opinion, he would have a chance to, to at least be the second best point guard in the game, but he can't, and that definitely diminishes his value by quite a bit. The offense ready is still going to be lights out, and I'm very, very excited to use it. I'm not going to lie with you. I'm very, very excited to use Pistol P, just because of how good I truly know he can be on the offense end. Defensively, if they would have given him clamps, he might, like, he legitimately probably would be the second best point guard in the game. I love his release. He just, you know, he's really like that. Hot spots from four out of five places around the, you know, around the arc. And he's just really like that. His release is pure, absolutely butter. And the one thing that worries me is the fact that he does have steady shooter. That does scare me a, a little bit. But I personally love his release. You know, I love his dribble sticks, everything like that. And that's why I personally think, you know, even without clamps, he is still going to be usable. Do I think he's going to be better than Darren Williams, John Stockton? Probably not specifically just because of the defensive end. But still, I still believe Pistol Pete is going to be one of the top point guards in the game without clamps, you know? And that's saying a lot about how good Pistol Pete truly is, is that even without clamps, he can be that, you know, still that guy. He truly can be that type of a player. So let's see what he's like in the full court, because I know he has some good, you know, good dribble sticks, you know, absolutely stellar dribble sticks. And, you know, in the half court, obviously, he's got same type of dribble style, the pro two of Stephen Curry, you know, obviously, he's going to, He's gonna go crazy. He's gonna go absolutely crazy. You know, Curry, Curry escape. You know, combined with the momentum behind the back, and if, if he has the ability just to go get you a bucket on every single possession. Now, if he had the ability to get clamps, you guys already know he would be that dude. He is still that dude, green in every shot I take. I want to see if he has the ability to dunk the ball. Okay, now I hate that dunk animation, but that just shows you his ability that he does have to dunk the ball as well. Let's see how he is in my team unlimited hopping into a game here we're up against john stockton clay thompson lebron james Giannis, and bob lanier so this guy's got a very good lineup i'm running basically an all new lineup with dominique wilkins i just need the ability to be able to hide hide if i can't hide pete maravich that's really all that matters you know if i if i have the ability to hide him he will absolutely cook you know fry people like a piece of bacon on a sunday morning and look at pistol pete maravich doing his thing the very first possession of the game on the defensive end i'm a i'm more than just a little bit worried about him though cat with the big time block get it to pete oh yeah i like it i like it i like what we're working with early on pete curry escape pow mm, that's a tough shot by pete maravich he gets it to go Oh my lord, Pete Maravich gets a quit in the very first minute of the game. I wouldn't feel right leaving you guys just with that suspicion of how good Pete Maravich is. So we're going to hop right into another unlimited game. My boy, my guy Wedekis is on the verge of getting his first unlimited level complete. Hopping into the next game, we're up against Goat Sauce. And I'm going to put Pete Maravich on Brandon Roy to try to hide him. And this guy has Paul Pierce, so obviously he knows a little bit of what he's doing. I'm excited to use Pistol Pete. I can't lie with y'all. Like, Pistol Pete... He's a dog on the offensive end. There's no denying it. Like, the fact that he can move like that is ridiculous. It, it's, it's honestly ridiculous. Now, on the defensive end, obviously, you need to try to hide him and put him on a cone and attack the rim. Back to Big Cat. And that's what I'm saying. Big Cat in the pick and pop, I low-key like what he gives you because you got to honor his ability to knock down shots. Come here. That's, that is so tough, man. I don't know. You're pausing? 
Yeah, you paused the wrong dude today. I ain't, I ain't gonna sit here and lie with you. You paused the wrong dude today. You paused the wrong dude today. You paused the wrong dude today. Pistol P. I don't care what anybody says about him not having clips. The, the His ability on the offensive end, it's going to be tough not to play him. That's all I can say. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to play him because he's not going to be able to defend. You're going to give up 9,000 points, but you might need you might be able to score 9,001 points. So it might be worth it to... Ooh, that's good defense. It might be worth it to play Pistol Pete just because of his ability on the offensive end. That was my first miss, my first non-green with Pete. I do believe. All right, let's cook up. I hate the fact that he's running his own. It's it's not that it's like tough. It's just it's annoying. It's annoying to play his own. But Pete Maravich is gonna shoot him right out of his zone. No doubt about it. And I don't know if he doesn't have a hot spot for there. If that was too deep, but I did not see the hot spot kind of thing pop up right there. Good defense. I love it. I love it. Y'all gotta be able to get through it though. Y'all gotta be able to get through all the all of this action. Good, Danny. No lightlies. That's tough. Look at Cat on a big board. Run. Oh, somebody better pick me up. Somebody better pick me up. Nobody does, and it's over with. Pistol Pete is going to green that. He has take over. Back to him. Uh-oh, he jumped. He jumped, and now I'm going to make you pay every single time. You jump, it's over with. Pistol Pete gets another quit in the very first quarter of the game. Let me tell you, Pistol Pete is absolutely fire, guys. Now I'm going to hop into a triple threat online game to see how cheesy it can be. Now, in triple threat online, it's going... Oh, they, they did update the boards. Triple threat online boards are updated officially, which is very, very fire. Ten tokens and five tokens are now on the boards. As well as Daryl Griffith and the new finals, uh, new finals pack. So that's a big time W that I, I I didn't see earlier. Maybe they just updated it. But let's put uh let's put my guy Pete Maravich in the lineup. But he will get fried like a piece of bacon. This guy is utilizing the free agent Zion that we all got today, as well as Boris Diaw and Michael Cooper. Yikes! At least at least the good thing about Pete having Michael Cooper is he he's at least not gonna hopefully struggle on the defensive end unless Michael Cooper. If Michael Cooper fries Pete on the defensive end. I don't know what to say, but Michael Keep Cooper is going to be a tough defender for Pete to really, truly attack. But we're going to see what it... I just said Mike... I missed? That's that's a tough one not to green. Normally, I'm I'm green with Pete. I like his release. That's That's got to be green every single time. James Worthy. Like I said, on the defensive end, I like James Worthy. I truly do on the defensive end. It's just I hate his release. That's the only thing I don't like about James Worthy is the fact that his release is just absolutely awful. Grab the ball, get it to get it to pistol. I hate that delayed. I hate that delayed animation. But I'm two or two on white so far in the game. I don't know if I'm early or late. What I got to do to adjust? But I got to green with pistol Pete. Grab the ball, please. At least the guy I'm playing is not. He's not super good right now. So. Well, let's be nice. Yeah. Let's be nice. We don't have to go there. I mean, you're not wrong, but you didn't have to say it. So I'm doing my thing, playing some defense, making things happen. Pistol Pete locking up on defense. I know y'all saw that. I know y'all saw it. Good defense. No way, right? No way. No, no, no. That's a quick release. There's no chance. All right, yes, sir. Pistol Pete, it's time. Hey, cross, tween, hey. Yo, he is so fun to use. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. Pistol P is so, so fun to use. And we get another quit. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Pistol P is absolutely incredible on the offensive end. All right, yo, that is going to wrap it up for Pink Diamond Pistol Pete Maravich game. But guys, I'll say this. I will say this. Out of every single player that got released today, I think Pistol P is the most usable in a competitive setting. I said it. I think Pistol Pete's the most usable in the competitive setting. Because here's the thing. If you can play Pistol Pete and stagger him his minutes to a guy like a Clay Thompson, nobody's going to run their offense through Clay Thompson or a Michael Cooper. Nobody's going to run their offense through Michael Cooper. The tough thing is, what if somebody's running Dominique Wilkins and Julius Irving at, as their twos? Then who's Pistol Pete going to guard? And I don't know the answer for that. So you just got to find a way to get Pete minutes in, in which he doesn't have to guard anybody. And in, in Unlimited, you'll be absolutely fine running Pete Maravich. In my opinion, he is the best offensive auctionable point guard in the game, and I don't even think it's close. Pistol Pete Maravich is absolutely incredible, and when you're going to look at his price, anything under 100 k I do not think is a bad price at all for Pistol Pete. Even if you have to pay 100 for him, 
I don't mind that at all. I doubt there's any buy nows right now, but there might be at the I don't know. I don't know what it with the with the pack odds are like right now, but there's no pistol peats up for a, a, a buy now right now. But I personally do like pistol peak quite a bit. In my opinion, he is my favorite player that did come out today, guys. Drop your comments on your favorite players that came out today, guys. I appreciate all your recent support on the videos. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.